What's going on guys? So I got the band box today and I do and I want to do a quick unboxing uh, to showcase uh, what we got this month. I believe it's for the month of uh, October. It's Halloween, so I'm thinking we could get something relatable to that. But yeah, not too sure. Um, I know they were definitely doing a lot of contests with um, on their Facebook community page, and you can win a lot of great stuff uh, that's related to Hara. Um, I forget what they were though. I know they were some Stranger Things um, signings. I'm not too sure, but yeah, you have to go onto their uh, Facebook community page uh, to see what that's all about. But other than that, I don't recall too much about uh, you know some of the franchises that they were going to be are going to be releasing in this month. But yeah, so I'm excited. And yeah, let's see what we got. So, as always, the black wrapping paper. Shoot it. That's good enough. All right. Well, I'm gonna pull this guy out first because it's a blue one-up card. Yeah. I wonder what that's gonna be. But uh, one-up, congratulations. You got a one-up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. Awesome. So, can't wait to see what that is. Uh, these patches every month and we got this fringe division department of defense hmm not too sure where is that from or what's that's about but it's a cool badge or patch I like it I've been actually looking into uh, yeah getting some custom uh, patches done and um, I think when you buy them you know they're fairly cheap but when you're trying to get a bundle of like 100 or 200 uh the price gets uh, pretty up there so yeah definitely do your research and find out the best price and quality i guess but um yeah i'm not too sure where this from but i like the design it looks pretty cool department of defense yeah this is a patch that um you know put on something and yeah it will look like it will blend in it will look kind of realistic as compared to a lot of other badges or patches um yeah you know, it's from a movie, or from a show, or, you know, etc. Anyways, uh, next we got this BAME limited edition animal pins. Display your fandom. Only 500 made, so maybe this is the one-up I got. Uh, this is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Designed by somebody, Romero. Uh, limited release of 500 pins, pins number on the back. Uh, I didn't watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, back in the days. I mean, the only reason why I even flipped to the channel when it was on was, uh, yeah, to check out Buffy. That's about it. But maybe this is a one-up. I'm not too sure. Oh, a lot more jewelry boxes. Grim Replica, one of the seven keys. A band box edition by Doc Manus Props. So, yeah, we got this little small jewelry box. I feel like, as always, pin, patch, jewelry. Or uh, some kind of jewelry, jewelry box kind of type item. Um, sounds like a keychain necklace, maybe. Ooh. What is this? So it looks like a necklace. Um, yeah. So this is a necklace, but I'm not too sure how this works. It's all tangled up. All right. So here's the necklace. Hopefully I'm getting in that into frame. And um, I guess... You can let it loose when it hangs you know it's attached but when you let it loose or pick it up you can make or get a key out of it almost like a butterfly butterfly knife yeah there's a key Oof. so yeah, you close it back up i guess it's like that i feel like yeah this gets tangled fairly easily um yeah so there you go Oh, I got some funky design. Looks like uh, stained glass windows or oh, stained glasses. I'm not too sure. Where is this? From? Where is this from? Grim? Is that the show? Grim? Replica one of the seven keys. So I got one of the seven keys. Awesome, I guess. So that's one item. All right, next thing we got here is the license plate. Land of Lincoln. 19, 1978. Um, Lincoln. Land of Lincoln. 
Five nine eight, three nine zero. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure where this is from either. Um, think of some zombie movie maybe. Um, yeah, we'll see. And the next thing we got here is without ruining for me or you, the Bad Box Certificate of Authenticity. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, Christopher Munga, you hear this name before? Number 358 out of 1,200, and it looks like it's Edward Scissorhands. Uh, the BAM original box fan art collection art print Edward Scissorhands as has been hand signed by artist Chris Yuminga and is guaranteed to be authentic. I like this print. Pretty cool, so that's the BAM box certificate of authenticity. Signature is down here. Yeah, I like this print. It's pretty cool. Next, or the last thing we got here. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Boom. Gremlins. So uh, this is uh, an 8 by 10 photo. Has been hand signed by Zach Galligan, who plays Billy Peltzer in the Gremlins movie franchise. It was signed during a private signing with a band box. One of my favorite movies growing up as a child, Gremlins. Who doesn't like Gizmo? A Mogwai. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to Chinatown, pick you up one of those Mogwais. Yeah, I might have to do that later. But um, yeah, it's hand signed by this guy who is uh, Zach uh, Galligan, who played Billy Pulsar. And he looks like he's getting inside by one of the, the bad gremlins. Uh, that's cool. That is pretty cool. I like that a lot. And yeah, that's it. Uh, then we got the spoiler booklet. And this is for the month of October 2017. Throw that to the floor. So there's that. We got the one-up system. Bim Hara box. And there's a contest going on. Win this Chris Hemsworth Thor in the Marvel movie series signed Thor action figure. Signed for Bim subscribers only. In order to just go to the Bim community page. And follow the instructions to enter. What? Is this Thor? Actually, if it was signed by Chris Hemsworth, that is pretty dope. So, yeah. Some information regarding the 1UP card contest and the BAM horror box. I am going to have to enter this contest, hopefully, to win this action figure. So, all right, let's check out what we got. So, all right. BAM box Buffy, Vampire, the Vampire Slayer fan art collection pins from artist Brian Romero. Oh yeah, so I guess this is the one up. So it looks like there's uh, three variations. You could have got, I guess that's Buffy. Or Sarah Michelle Geller, And I got this one. Um, I, don't, I don't know who that is. Which is limited to 500. And the other one is limited to only 250. Is this guy? I'm not too sure who that is. But um, yes, yeah, seize the moment cause, cause tomorrow you might be dead. From artist Brian Romero comes with this Buffy the Vampire pin collection. You have the chance to get one of three different pins. Each with a specific, specific release number added to their rarity. Most will receive the pin of Buffy. The Spike pin will have a release of 500. Oh, so this is Spike. I got Spike. And will be numbered on the back. And the Gentleman pin will be the most rare with only 250 made and numbered on the back. That's cool. Fringe, ah, makes sense. So this is from Fringe. Um, that is a TV show, right? Fan art collection patch. So there was two variations. Looks like I got the regular one, and it looks it looks like there's a black and white variant that is limited to only two fifty. The Fringe division is an organization heavily featured on the TV show Fringe. Who they are exactly depends on which of the two parallel universes you are in. Most will receive the black and red logo, but some will receive the inverted color patch. Limited to only 250. Inverted. Yeah, nice way to go about that. So that's cool. So is the patch a new big thing now? Um, you know, people are maybe getting sick of pins, so they move on to the patches. Is that why we get a patch and a pin every month? And uh, this fan art collection thing. Ooh, okay. So, Bandbox signed with Zach Galligan from the Gremlins movie franchise. So, there's three uh, photos you could have gotten. Uh, we got this one, which is um, not bad. But these other two are pretty good, too. Well, one of them is all right. 
Uh, but here. So you see those three photos. But uh, bright light, bright light. Who can forget the iconic movie Gremlins? Billy, played by Zach Allegan, receives a strange creature called a Mogwai as a pet, which then spawns other creatures who transform into small, destructive, evil monsters. There are two different photos you can get, but someone will see it. One of Carter received a custom metallic photo that is signed and numbered out of 250. And then uh, we got this pop replica Grim, uh, key map of seven keys from Dark Matter Props. Um, in Grimm, Detective Nick Burkhart, Burkhart learns about his Grimm heritage and is given a key from his Aunt Mary to him to keep it safe. This key necklace opens up to form a this key necklace opens up to form a key, just like in the show. The detailing on the key is incredible. Brought to you from Dark Matters Props. Anyway, uh, for the prints, so they looks like there's two prints. Uh, you could have got we got. The cartoonish one and looks like there's a more realistic headshot of uh Edward Scissorhands or Johnny Depp which is pretty cool too and that's limited to only 250 which is not bad so for the limited 250 there's actually two prints one is a uh, kind of like a sepia tone and the other one is uh I don't know the other word for it um but anyway it's Ed fan art collection print by artist Christopher Yuminga Scissor hands, BAM exclusive fan art collection print by artist Steve McGinnis. So you got Chris Uminga or Steve McGinnis. We got the Christopher Uminga one. We are excited to bring back Chris, bring back artist Chris Uminga. He did the Nurse Joker print last year for this month's box, and we are excited to introduce the incredible artist Steve McGinnis. Two totally different styles. Two incredible artists. Our prints are signed and numbered by the artist. As always, look for the variant Chase editions. Halloween Halloween license plate prop replica, or you could have got. A Michigan one, I believe, from Evil Dead. Um, so a few things stand out like license plates in movies. Whether the car is a main character itself or is a huge part of the movie, they become instant collector's pieces. This month you will receive either the Insane Asylum Wagon plate from the movie Halloween or Ash Williams Oldsmobile plate from Ash vs. Evil Dead. All plates are screen accurate and are metal stamped and embossed aluminum. And yeah, that's it. So that was... Uh, October fan box subscription unboxing yeah not bad items um I feel like they're bringing for the past few months after uh they decided to go to go themeless that it's maintained the same items every month you get like a an uh sign like celebrity photo I guess uh, artist prints some random like prop replicas um Definitely a passion and it depends. So these are the common items or the most, or I won't say common items, but I guess these are like the guaranteed items you're gonna be, you you could be expecting every month. Um, so yeah, I mean it's not bad. I like the autograph. I like the print. Um, license plate. I don't know what to do with that. Pins. I guess another pin and another patch. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, I know next month they did, or I was on the Facebook page and I saw an advertisement for, what are they saying, there's going to be something in the Game of Thrones, so I'm definitely excited for that. And honestly, I was actually planning to cancel um, after this month, um, but after seeing the Game of Thrones item, then, you know, I think I might stick around for one, one more month at least uh, to see what else they may have, uh, yeah, that they might throw out there, but... Yeah, eventually it's going to end somewhere, so I guess until, yeah, it hits a point where, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of the franchise that could be put in a box, it's probably, that will be the time I'm going to cut it off. Um, yeah, so yeah, if you guys like that, subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends, tell your folks, do all that. Um, yeah, I guess until next time, catch you later.